Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome to the Underworld Ascendant Alpha Build. This uh, was released to backers of the Underworld Ascendant game uh, a few days ago. And it is uh, something that we've played on the channel before. We played a little bit of the pre-alpha uh, many months ago. If you are not familiar with this game or don't recall, this is essentially, uh, I think, like a follow-up to Ultima Underworld, even though the game doesn't bear the ultimate name. Uh, so we're going back to the Stygian Abyss, essentially. Now this build has... Two different levels in it. One is uh, sort of like a redone tutorial level, and then another is a later game mission where we have more stuff available. Uh, so fair warning, there could be spoilers. I'll probably separate these two levels into separate videos depending on how long Cluedo's Gate is. But just, uh, yeah, just know that. And uh, also it's an alpha, so expect bugs and, you know, obviously, you know, performance issues uh, are, are possible and all that kind of stuff. But uh, beyond that, let's go ahead and begin with Pluto's Gate here. This, uh, this is going to be completely new to me. Okay. Is uh, Stephen Russell going to holler at me? No, I guess not. You receive a curious letter inviting you to play a long-awaited game by secretive developers. Uh, you arrive at their office only to find it deserted. After answering unusual questions at a terminal nearby, you see a mysterious portal appear. A voice beckons you to enter the Stygian Abyss, a dangerous environ on the borders of the Underworld. There, the enigmatic spirit Kibiris offers knowledge and adventure. But first, you must prove thoughtful and able. I believe this just says loading, if you translate those runes. I could be wrong. Your lessons require application of logic. I seek not to teach you, but to make you think. Okay. This uh, mouse sensitivity is a little, a little high for my taste, but uh, we'll roll with it for the moment. A little dark too, but maybe that's uh, intended here. Fromage proper. <laughs> uh, that's not how you pick stuff up. There we go. I actually don't know what the controls are. Unknown meat? Uh, my favorite kind. I'll take that too. Uh, so, selected in the hop bar and press the left mouse button. I see. Okay. We'll keep that in mind. What is this? Throw it. Oh, God, what have I done? Do I have to... Ah, the longer I hold this down, the, uh... The longer it does the, uh, the thing. Okay, I got you. I really just busted this thing up. I am extremely strong. I don't really want to carry all of these, though, so let's maybe just pick up the box instead. On a side note, uh, that was 44 pounds, man. I just chucked that thing like it was a piece of paper. <laughs> um... Yeah, as a side note, I think this was uh, available to, you know, press and stuff at, uh... You must learn to experiment. I will not hold your hand. I believe this was available to press at PAX, so you may have seen some of this before. Uh, I'm not sure. It is awfully dark, though. Give me, like, let's just... Uh, da -da -da -da, graphics, brightness, let's give it, like, a couple, three, four notches. Just for the sake of the video, it's a little better. Hopefully you guys can see this uh, pretty well. How heavy is this going to be? Ooh, 100 pounds. I care not. Oh, but there's a little thing there, so that's that means it's too heavy for me to throw, I guess. It's fine. I'll just take this thinky cheese. All right. So I do know a thing or two about the game that I assume still holds true. We'll see what uh, old Kibiris has to say, though. All right, this door is unlocked. I guess that's the easiest way to get through it. Wasn't going to be my first plan, <laughs> but so be it. I like my thief hands. Your first task is simple. Escape. Uh, okay, how about I just open the door? It worked last time, right? The oh. wood is strong. Hardy. In time, you could beat it down. 
or simply apply fire. So here's here's one note right off the bat. Uh, I do believe the man said he wasn't going to hold my hand. So as much as I do love Mr. Uh, Stephen's work, uh, maybe yeah, let me figure that out. Oh, we are carrying a box that's on fire. Did not think that part through. That was not very smart. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Well, this is a problem. Uh, over here. Apply fire. <laughs> this seems a, a little heavy-handed, but then again, wrapping my knuckles on the door, sort of also similar. What's this? This is just a glass, right? <laughs> Does this burn as well? Oh, I can't... I, I can't pick that up, obviously. This throwing is going to take a little... Oh. Take a little getting used to. I wonder if... Uh, are these just like decanters, basically? I think so. I think I'm just smashing up perfectly good glassware uh, for no reason. Let's let's move on. That's gonna hurt a little bit. That's okay. All right. I gotta say, actually, the game is performing very well. I have it set to ultra. Uh, I don't know if I need to restart for that to to take effect or not. But uh, before I had it set to super low, like literally lowest settings, and it was Spells still pretty choppy. Spells allow the alteration of physical properties, physics, enemies' minds, and more. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, so it was... Each wand is branded with a single spell. <laughs> All right. Are you done? Voice in my head? Okay, so as I was going to say, uh, I forgot. <laughs> it's it's gone. So what, I just need to get through the door. What's, uh, what, what do we got? Move plant wand, plus one. To levitate a, and draw, I didn't quite catch all that. But I think it's said to move wooden stuff, essentially. Well, I mean, there's plenty of wooden stuff here. So at least this time I don't have to do it with my bare fingers. Like, do I have to hold this down? No. No, I don't. Okay. Uh... Move plant wand. What have I done? Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and... Apply fire again. And that is just literally stuck right on there, huh? I, uh, I'll have to go back through the footage to see if the wand is supposed to do that or not. I don't know. Also, I think the uh, yeah the the charge of the wand is indicated by our our neon uh, glow there. I think that's a holdover from the pre-alpha. All right, you think we can jump through there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, we definitely can. I wonder if I could just batter myself against the. Ah. Uh, okay. Portal. Does it not show where I am? That would be interesting. Uh, I remember the days of not having uh, myself on a map. Although Ultima Underworld was not uh, was not there. Oh, look at that. All right, how do I get out of here? Uh, escape? To survive, you must be clever, capable, creative. A little bit of a texture overlap yeah, there. Each decision holds great opportunity and grave consequence. All right. Well, I do uh, do wonder something. I'm looking at this, and I have my 
feel the view is set to 60 in the options. That feels, this feels a little bit more like a 75 to me. I don't know, maybe that's not true. Maybe my eyes are just playing tricks on me. Uh, all right, what am I supposed to do? Let's take this. Bind plant one plus one. Move plant, bind plant. Become bound. Oh, oh. It was. What have I done? Horse. Associated with movement, transportation, and unbinding. Only wizards with focus mastery can change runes on wands. This is not a spell. That was me just right-clicking there. I think I sort of understand the point of this. Uh, like, for example... If I take you... And do one of those. Oh, hang on. Gotta throw it properly. And I can do something like that. And then if I'm quick on the draw here. Ah, yeah. The Stygian <laughs> Abyss is a liminal region. An in between space where the barriers to other dimensions fade. A gateway elsewhere. Connecting all worlds to the underworld. Interesting. I'll uh, tell you what. Let's just, uh... Yeah, little bit, a little bit more. I do like a dark... A game with, like, a stark contrast between dark and light, but I'm concerned nobody's going to be able to see any of this. Uh, I'm going to come back. Oh, oh, ow. I didn't realize that would happen. Like, all right, come on. What am I, like, five, say I'm five, eight? All right, you got me. That's like a six-foot drop. Maybe maybe you could twist your ankle on that. I want to see what's... Excuse me? I don't know what that was all about. Oh, there's plenty of things over here, actually. These are metal, I think. Just a hunch. What is in here? A water arrow. Do I have a, a bow with which to shoot a water arrow? I don't think that I do. Uh, what am I supposed to throw it? Uh, I don't know. Well, whatever. Can I... get up here with just one box? Yes. Yes, I can. Alright, let's do our little, uh, our little trick again. This might be overcomplicating things just a hair. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if that's going to hold for a second attempt, but I'll try. Ah, oh, balls. So, uh, let's try again. That might be a little too high. But I'll give it a shot. Oh! <laughs> I, think, I think that actually damaged me. Uh, there, there probably is, like, an easier way. Like, why do I keep taking damage when I pick these up? I don't know. I think, it, I think the physics is just making it run into me. Like, can we just... Like, just do that, guys? I mean, I realize I could also probably just use the move plant thing. But can I just... Do this? Like, I know this is the... The harder version of solving this puzzle, but, uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh. That seems fine. Is that? Ooh, here's an idea. What if I... Move plant. Seems like I might need a little bit more move plant power.
MP is too low. I'm just trying to let it let it go. But I think it does sort of work. My idea, that is. Uh, which is that I can move that chandelier with my magic. Let's, uh, let's try some, some mystery meat, shall we? Okay, that didn't go well. Uh, I don't know if that healed me or not, honestly. Can I uh, set this on fire with a candle? Oh, it's it's uh, it's doing the thing. This seems a little unlikely to be realistic, although it isn't actually catching on fire. So, also, it's kind of just floating in midair now for some reason. Let's grab that. Eat that. These are empty, I assume. Yes, they are. Alright, well, I, I think I'm satisfied. Unless we can look in the cupboard. Well, I can move the cupboard. With my bare hands. Who needs magic, man? Alright, good enough. Let's go. Which uh, button is crouch, I wonder? I actually have no idea. Maybe it'll tell me. If I must explain physics, you've already lost. Okay, yeah. Understood. Door's locked. And we're not getting back through. Uh, I'm guessing... They would like me to, uh... To get over to that lever, so... Uh, let's, uh, let's try this. Oh, so that hurts me, does it? Hang on. <laughs> that actually hurt quite a bit. That really hurts. <laughs> nope, still locked. <laughs> All right, now we're good. Okay, this is uh, pure blackness. Those look like they might have something in it. Oh. Corn of the something or other. Eat that. Oh, I'm healing a little bit on my own as well. I'm also punching every time I, uh, I eat. <laughs> it's maybe not desirable. Alright, so who wants to bet I missed a bow somewhere? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm moderately confident that that, is, uh, that has occurred at this point. I mean, a water arrow doesn't really help me with this situation anyway. Well, I could, could try to move the table over there. But what if instead... Uh, over, like, move the table to make a platform, but I think there might be an easier way. What if I just... move plant... and... how do I make this go away from me? I need to look at the, uh, the controls for this. Uh, okay. Bindings is not not useful when this is underneath everything. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's the blurry key. Well, let's let's experiment a little bit and we'll try uh, some stuff out.
Uh, what have I done? Video caching. With this feature on... Uh, no. Huh? Ah. Alright, well, it's not that one. It's not that. Do I need to hold the key down? I'm gonna punch this chair. And apparently eat some mystery meat at the same time. Ah, that's how we do it. I want the chair to go... up, however. I think I sort of understand. Okay, we need to wait for this to, uh... to cease its behavior. I kind of want to aim it at that. And let's just, I guess, wait for MP to regen real fast. Oh, wait a minute, I could just throw a chair. What am I doing messing around with magic? Or throw a plate. Do a little frisbee. So much easier than what I was doing. Although I think I need something with a little more juice on it. Uh... All right, not strong enough for that one. Give it a little bit more. Hey, hey. Did that... 5,300 pounds. Ah, yes, of course. All I have to do is throw the door. It's so simple. Let's try again. Oh, there's a fish. Eat the fish. Two pounds. This one we can definitely throw a little bit farther. Okay. I think it bounced back. And, uh... That's not desirable. That or I've done something terribly wrong. I'm gonna run out of dishes and shit to throw in a minute here. Or maybe it's open. I think... We might be stuck, honestly. Unless I'm supposed to go back this way. Ah, uh, there is more stuff I can throw here. Hmm. Well... Okay, so that's not gonna work. <laughs> Ow, my face. Okay. Just had to get the plate stuck on there with a perfect throw. No sweat. Let's get through here so that we never have to return. What is this? Hello. My friend. Here in the darkest pit, an improbable ecology has evolved. Wisps eat manna and excrete starlight. Undead devour manor, giving nothing in return. Not evil, part of the environment, but parasitic. Okay. I don't know if we're any closer. We can make map notes, that's interesting. Can I touch you? I cannot. 
All right, little dudes, I will be on my way then. Oh, what a shock. Another locked door. I, uh, maybe I could burn that one down or punch it down like I did uh, the previous one. Don't know that I want to touch that just yet. Okay. Well, here are some things that I can use to burn stuff down. I'm going to venture a guess that this might be the door behind which the portal uh, resides. Can I? Like you, like many here, I came from the other side long ago. I, Kabiras, gave everything to this place and lost for something greater. Time will tell if you fare better. Okay. Can we cook this? I think there's a not. Oh, yeah, roasted mystery meat. <laughs> oh, and that actually heals us. Um, side note. I've been saying Kabiris this whole time, so literally my entire uh, Ultima Underworld playthrough said his name wrong. <laughs> it's Kabiris. Who knew? All right, I need one of these. Uh... Let's uh, let's let's take one of these. This might be a little easier to carry. Yeah, very slightly. So I'm gonna drag this. And put it on this block, because I'm going to guess that it's not going to stay weighed down. But, before I do anything else... Oh, would you look at this? Hang on. What if I... Take this? It's actually too heavy, I think. Let's ram it into this door. Somehow. With my fists. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. That's every knuckle being broken. Need something wooden that's not a barrel, ideally. So let's grab, like, this guy. Or even that box right there in a second. We, uh, if we need to. And, uh, I want to see if I can burn down not only that door, but, uh, more importantly, this other thing. So, let's drop you on the ground. Move this plant. At least I assume it's a plan. It looks like a wicker basket to me. Apply to door. Or to this thing. Yes. Success. Apply also to this thing. If we can. That'll work. Oh, balls. <laughs> it broke. Well, so be it, I guess. We can uh, go around this way instead and circumvent the door. Oh, joy, another water arrow. Can I just open the door from this side? This is so dark here. I think I'm going to even... Just... Tweak this up a little bit more until we get something... Consistent. But uh, I am going to 
Probably, probably not gonna jump down there. Let's just jump through here instead. And uh, we'll go and play with this uh, thing over here instead. Uh, where's my... Oh, that's right. I threw it over here. Alright, let's grab this. And you, my friend, are gonna sit right atop this thing right here. I've done a block puzzle or two in my day, Kabyrus. Mind the light to avoid detection. If that is your real name. Oh shit. Uh, I didn't I didn't hear what he said. Quite. So a little flustered by my own thoughts. Uh let's figure out how to crouch. Shall we? <laughs> or have I been crouched the whole time? Wouldn't that be interesting? That's the map. Oh, you know what? There it is. Control. These crazy was the gamers and their their hard to reach keys that nobody ever touches. Unbelievable. No, my friend, there's nobody here, you see. Aha! I have your bread, you stupid skeleton. I wonder if I could kill you. I'm guessing move plant ain't... Oh, move plant ain't gonna do it. The silver sapling. Before danger... Plant the seed. When you fall, it will restore you. Right, so... Important part of uh, Ultima Underworld that made you functionally immortal. Uh, unless it was... Not uh, planted, of course. So let's take, uh, take one of these. Apparently, it's got more than one seed now. Uh, and then we'll put it in some dirt. We'll... Oh, I gotta click, probably. And... Put it in... I saw it was... Oh! Put in some dirt. Excellent. Alright, let's stop crouching. Crouch to tread lightly. Could I just kill this man with nothing but a little humble grease and determination? I suspect perhaps not. This looks pretty shadowy right here. That not not so much. Now this is the point where the bow would be useful. But alas, I have no such item. That'll work. Not my first rodeo, as you can see. As a stealth master. There you go. You look at that. While I go this way. Completely undetected. <laughs> ah. Oh. Hello, friend. Was not expecting you. That's a little bit of a different situation. Hmm. Does he have... He's got some kind of light near him. Perhaps. Perhaps we could do something like... You look over there.
I don't know. I just slid. I don't know exactly how that happened. I, I seem to have this gentleman's attention. But perhaps this will be good enough. Oh no. You wouldn't. How could you? Okay. Plan B. Good enough. I don't think I was stealthed anymore. That'll work. Still trying to shoot me. I am no longer there, but uh, you do you. Oh, there we go. Now they give me the flipping bow, of course. Eating this bread. Now I'm getting out of here. Perception is based on light and affected by sound. The elements have use. Water quenches fire. Right. So, test number one. Uh, with... Oh, I can, uh... Change how far away this is from me. I don't really want to, uh... Shoot my bow when I throw this thing, though. I'm concerned that might happen. So that had literally no effect on the actual amount of light there. <laughs> uh, we'll take uh, the water arrows. We might as well use these while they're here. All right, let's see if I, it is going to shoot my bow when I do this. No, I guess it won't. I'm guessing these are a really noisy alternative to the bow. All right, I think I see what's going on here. I'm picking up what they're putting down. I wonder if I could burn this whole platform. Is there anything that I can use? Can I set my bow on fire to test this out? I don't know if they'll let me do that. Is there not a box or anything over here? No, no box. Perhaps another time. Oh, I can like, I think I'm sliding. Yeah, okay. Understood. All right, well, I'm not gonna mess with that other fire thing. I'm gonna guess that the jugs aren't gonna burn. So let's just jump down here, I guess. I don't want to always slide when I <laughs> fall down a slope. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it, though. All right, let's test out the bow. It doesn't look like I'm drawing it, but the cursor has changed. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, that's pretty, uh... It's pretty good, but now my arrow has not restocked. Uh, I guess it's just... When I draw it. Alright, we're still gonna need... Well, we probably we might be able to just walk by this man. But I'm not, I'm not gonna try it. I don't... Don't think it's a good idea. Let's bring this. Let's throw it over there. He's uh he's not impressed. I think he heard my bow. Like the actual shooting of the bow, which is interesting. Also, everybody knows skeletons have dark vision in all fantasy games forever. <laughs> Plus, his, his, his eyes glow. Come on. You tell me he can't see in the dark? I don't believe it. 
All right, moving right along here. Well, that's certainly cinematic. Hmm, interesting. Huh. Ingenious method, stealth plus environ plus two. No award for versatility. Two, I killed peep, two people? Maybe the fish and a piece of meat? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, killed two of my fingers. Detections four. I don't know if these actually mean anything yet or not, but it's sort of interesting to see. Uh, I don't know if it's the kind of thing I'd really want to see in the actual game, though. Like... Well, I guess it depends on the, the flow of the game. Like, is it level-based or is it an open-world thing like the original Ultima Underworld? Because if it's a totally open-world, I'm not sure that there's any room for any of this to really get in my face. Um, but I don't know. I guess that's a question I'll have to ask somebody who actually knows. <laughs> um, I guess I got some screenshots or something. Well, accept reward. You have been measured. Though by what means? The enormity of the challenge facing this world requires cleverness. Creative reasoning. Not the same tired solutions of the past. Many good at killing lack the ability to outthink. More than survival is required. So that is a little bit loud. I think uh, that's a, a known issue, maybe. Um, stand in this corner for a sec, maybe. If that helps at all. Uh, so, like, I get what the developers are trying to do here, what other worlds, or other side, rather, is trying to do here. With like, okay, like we want to make a game where you can be creative and all that stuff, but like I don't need to be beaten over the head with it every uh, two seconds. <laughs> uh, you know what? Is it you? Are you the culprits? No. Uh, all right. Well, anyway, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. It feels like a shot at modern gaming. <laughs> it's just unnecessary, but. To each their own, I guess. Oh, good. Blackness for our, our final uh, <laughs> little bit here. Oh, never mind. We got, we're, we're good. All right. I guess there's a little bit more than I thought. Opened it from this side, and yet, I don't know that uh, I can actually get over there. That uh, crunching sound is extremely annoying, though. It sounds like the, a door opening. I just sneak right past here? I guess we got a little bit more on this left. I thought we were done. With the way he was talking. There we go. Alright. <laughs> hey! Grab it right through the thing there. No sweat. We got long, skinny arms. Uh, what is, uh... That is, that is a light. That is nothing. Very well. What if I, like, do this? Or do... Alright. Master Volume... Zero. Return to game. Uh, options... Master Volume... Return to game? No. It is not, uh, is not improved. Does this open? Hey, a door that actually just opens. Who would have thunk it? I will grab this chest down here, though. Don't mind if I do. For another water arrow. And, uh, let's run our butts over through to here, I guess. 
Broken sword. A warrior's most trusty companion. I'm gonna shiv him. Use caution. Or plant the seed. Oh yeah, the seed. Uh I didn't oh no, I still have it. Hooray! Attempt something audacious. Prove you can do more than simple murder. Ah. Uh, all right, man, you asked for it. Oh, hang on. Can I drop this meat? I don't think I can. I can block. Well, never mind. I can eat mystery meat from a dungeon. That's pretty good. Something audacious, though. Uh, I think I'll just grab that. Eat it, because I can. I'm stealing on these people's uh, food, whoever they are. I am still, still stealthed. Uh, I think those are undead down there. I think. Oh, if I had a... A regular bow... I might be able to do something with that. Or, not a regular bow, if I had regular arrows, I mean. But sadly, I don't. Unless there's some back here. Hmm. Doesn't look promising so far. Unless I can cut it with... Oh! <laughs> with one of these or something. That's, uh... Okay, now we might be able to make something work here. What if we grabbed... Say... This thing. Cheese fell on my foot there, no big deal, don't worry about that. I'm gonna assume that's water. So we'll become on fire. Excuse me, become on fire. More on fire, please. Or or not. Oh, it's here we go. We got a fire. We gotta hurry up. If I can get up these stairs. And throw it! Hmm. My plan has not gone... ...courting... ...well, to plan. <laughs> exactly. I can hear the enemies there, I saw the one. Guess we better get back upstairs. Like, I think you see where I'm going with this. We could try one of these. I don't think it's going to work, though. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. This box could work. Maybe. There are, actually, there are... Are those boxes as well? No, those are barrels. Ah, here we go, another stool. I want something like a little bit... A little bit lighter, is all. We can get this right up in there. I 
Like, I don't know if I'm ex really expecting that rope to catch on fire with <laughs> this thing just grazing past it or not. But it's an interesting idea. Alright. Go! Yeah. I think I need, like, a regular arrow. I don't know if there's any reason for me to go down there or not. So I'm just gonna maybe not go down there. Hello. Oh, alright. Not supposed to go down there yet, I don't think. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, are they, uh... No, okay, I was thinking this might lead lead right back to them. I guess not. Alright, that's locked. Well, we can do this little song and dance real quick here. don't stand in the uh, the brazier here. Here we go. Fire applied. Maybe use uh, a little move plant. Ah, there we go. Alright. So while that's cooking, we'll come over here and just uh, take a look at what we got. More mystery meat. We've got a piece of fish I guess I'll take and eat now. Alright, is this one locked as well? No. Alright, I'm going to leave that one as is for the moment. In here we have what? Thought there might be a tripwire there for a sec. <laughs> Must be cautious. We haven't found any traps yet. What do we have here? We have corn. Not really not really what I'm after here. And there's not really anything on the shelves that's super grabbing my attention right now either. This is just a uh, a closet, I think, honestly. We haven't found any keys yet. You would think that uh, where there exists a locked door, there also probably exists a key. But I guess that's not really all that bombastic. I wonder where the hell we are. Uh, I think we are... I want to say we're really close. I actually don't... I, I want to say maybe here, even. Just based on the size of this... Oh, shit. Size of this room. I do appreciate that there's no stealth indi indicator over these dudes' heads. Like, is there any reason to even go down there? That is the question that I'm asking myself right now, and the answer I keep coming up with is no. I don't think so. I'm guessing, of course, this is going to be locked. Oh, yeah, there's our portal, so uh, I, I was completely wrong about where we were. <laughs> Good to know. Ah, I see. So I need to get a box or a barrel or something on that pressure plate. Let's line it up oh so carefully. No, no, no. Just a little more. I think this is it. 
Oh my god, this is the wrong one. <laughs> Move plant. And balls. Don't mind me, fellas. Uh, perhaps there is another way. We can do it from up here, that is. Perhaps there's not. Perhaps one of these. Yeah, it does have to stay on it and actually be heavy. Just looking for what else we might be able to toss on there. I'm wondering if. Maybe if we chuck enough of these guys and enough shit breaks on it. Like, what's the, uh, the, the, uh, the weight coefficient of the pressure plate? I think I just knocked my glass off, though, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, go check that out. Step on the pressure plate for me. I don't think they're going to do that. Never mind all these uh, lights going out. This is totally normal. Well, that didn't go quite the way that I thought it might. What else? Let's take this chair. And... Through the door, we go. There we go. Just pinched our fingers a little bit, but, uh, you know, it's all part of moving. Keep getting stuck on these things, though. Let's try something a little different. Let's try... Uh, move plant. Oh, I don't have any of my... Forever Monolith here? Monolith? Monolith? Because what I would like is to try using this in tandem with that other spell, but I guess it's not going to work. So, I, you know, I think we might just have to go do this one the old fashioned way. I could also probably do without Kabir is telling me when I do a feat. You're breaking my immersion. <laughs> Alright, well that one broke. Why? I do not know. I wonder, is it maybe, is it the undead draining my MP? Is that what's going on? It was mentioned that they, that they drain mana previously. Can't pick that up, but I can pick this guy up. And just make a big commotion. By putting this thing right on here in plain sight. Now, I know that they heard that. <laughs> they must have, right? Well, I guess the uh, they're not quite as aware as I gave them credit for. So, uh, let's just uh, move right along and get to the portal, yeah? I will speak of the great threat that awaits you. 
in time. Okay. You want to speak to why I'm here in the first place? Probably not. That's that's story business. So we won't worry about that. I thought I might have a shot at that. Alright, well, let's go through. You remain undetected. I did, did I? Huh. Alright. Again, no award for versatility. Not using enough magic. Not using any combat. Uh, yeah, I suppose I could have. But, uh, top marks for stealth and environment, so good on me. And lovely screenshot there. <laughs> Alright, good enough. Cool, well, uh, this has been a much longer video than I thought it would be. I thought it would be maybe 20 minutes or so. Uh, but there you go, that's a look at some of Pluto's gate. I'm sure there are other solutions to problems that I solved. I'll probably make a shorter video that summarizes my feedback. Well, I might. I might make that video uh, that summarizes my feedback. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to definitely play Upper Erebus and uh, see what that's all about. And maybe we'll like try some actual combat in that one as well. Uh, because we're going to have a lot more skills and everything. I don't know. I felt like beating, beating on skeletons with a broken sword. Probably, probably not like a great strategy. <laughs> but uh, I could be wrong since I didn't try it. Uh, anyway, all right. Well, thanks for watching. If you want to check out Underworld Ascendant for yourself, there will be a link in the uh, description. Other than that, I'll catch you next time.